Hello everybody, my name is Michael and in this tutorial I will show you how to add a basic LME AI and uh, we are not going to use uh, behavior, behavior trees, we are just uh, going to add some uh, enemy, uh, AI move to and uh, let's get started. So uh, here is the pre in the character in the previous tutorial now we'll use the default one for this tutorial so uh, we'll duplicate this third person character so control W and enemy enemy AI open it up and uh, we don't need all this stuff right here so just delete everything okay and uh, we need a few things event begin play AI move to the pawn will be the self so self the target actor will be player pawn and uh, on, su on success uh, let's uh, add a retrievable delay and we'll do the same thing compile save now I will uh, change this mesh right here to the mannequin and to the third first what what anyway your third person and in blueprint we don't need this camera and we don't need the camera boom it looks fine um okay now let's add a uh, nav mesh bounce volume in our scene so volume stub uh, nav mesh nav mesh bounce volume right here make sure it it is let's scale it up and it should be a little bit uh, in our in the ground so just like that and scale it more okay and this and let's press P to see to see a preview of it. Just P P no P. Anyway, I don't know why it isn't showing up, but um, it's working. Anyway, um, let's add this enemy AI right here, and let's play. He is coming to us but uh, he, he comes to us but after uh, 0.2 seconds he comes again but I don't know why he isn't why he isn't stopping okay what if we go back go back no And anyway, uh, nav mesh bounce volume. P build it. Uh, let's build this. Okay. We will make a health variable, and uh, when uh, he comes to us, uh, we'll decrease. Uh, we'll minus one uh, or minus ten, anyway. Okay, so I built uh, the navigation. When we press P, the, um, it makes a preview of what 
what's it going on with you. All right, let's uh, add a health variable in our character. So new variable health. float or um, integer yeah I think the integer is better for health and um, it should be 100 by default okay um, and we'll check event tick or something where it is Okay, we didn't have an event tick. Event tick branch if health is equal or no, not equal, uh, less or equal to zero. Then we will do something, and what we will do is we will uh, destroy actor. We will destroy ourselves. You can also play some animations or make another variable is dead. I will make one is dead. This will be a boolean. Let's set it to and and uh, let's make another branch a and by the way if uh, it's not less or equal to zero and we'll set is dead to false we'll make a sequence right here Drag this down a little bit. All right, just like that, and uh, we'll make another branch, and we'll say if is that is equal to true, then we will destroy ourselves. All right. So uh, now um, we we will um, in the enemy AI on success we we'll, we should make a sequence by the way. And of course maybe this. Okay. Let's cast to our character, cast to third person character, player character, and um, minus uh, and uh, this variable health, get health. Set health minus one all right and now let's uh, make um, a hood. Let's make a blueprint class and widget blueprint user widget select health and right here other text scaling up center uh, dun -dun -dun. size to content is good and 
okay let's set it right here and it will be 100 by default and uh, the text bind create binding uh, variables core ref dot person character reference okay now in the event graph event constructs cast to third person character player character character and set our character reference get text get character reference help to shrink and to text let's see how it looks like oh and uh, in the hood so uh, blueprints uh, world settings wow third person game modes hood class hmm yeah uh no we will want uh, this in the hood we will just say in our third person character on event begin play create what okay create with jet name it uh helps player controller add to Let's see how it looks like. One hundred ninety-nine. I think. Okay, and it will go. So we are not even. Um, okay, seventy. Not, not, not. Fifty. It will go under zero because we didn't clamp this variable when we set it right here. We didn't clamp it. So um. We have to put this right here and clamp. I don't know oh, it uh, clamp for integer. Hmm. Anyway, uh, the minimum will be. Uh, let's make a right in here a variable for the minimum health. So minimum health. This will be uh, an integer zero and the maximum health. So max health, and this will be one hundred. Let's get this on the root node right here, and me. Health Max Health All right, mean health maximum health. All right, so uh, let's say minus ten to see quicker. Okay, and it's zero, and now our character is dead. Uh, as I told you before, we can also add a um, simple um, animation, a dead animation, but anyway, so let's set this back to one. Alright, and uh, 
if he is dead then we also want to remove all widgets from the screen so let's see oh and uh, again let's say minus 10 okay we have no widgets on the screen one so uh, this was it for this tutorial uh, in the enemy AI you can um, add some nice a uh, nice scary character and uh, a hero or something um, and this was it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next see you the next time <coughs> goodbye